Good morning. It's, it's May 14, 2021. That makes this vlog a day 15. Yeah. And that means we've gone almost halfway through this whole month without props. Until now. It's also TGIF. And that means the fat man is Gary. Yeah! Even trying, you know, bird on the balcony. Bird on the balcony. So here we are. It's now 7 12, uh, May the 14th, 2021, uh, which is a Friday. And at this point, it's nine degrees feeling like seven, uh, clear. It, it will get to 20 feeling like 20 by noon. It will basically stay that way for the entire afternoon. My car is old. We're probably gonna have to replace it soon. It doesn't have air conditioning. And that means I am going to be sweating uh, uh, horribly because I drive into the sun going to work and then I drive into the sun coming home again. So uh, effectively basting like a turkey. So happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> uh, on the Wikipedia thing, a uh, bizarre article, like, I mean, you know there are academians involved in this because today's featured article is on the several attempts and proposals made to unify Bulgaria and Romania in the 19th and 20th centuries. Are you kidding me? Who in the world, other than a Bulgarian-Romanian interested in 19th and 20th century history, could care? Um... You know, Tani Katane died recently, and it's one of those names that I know I know, but I, I looked at the list of movies, and I'd never seen any of them. May 14th is the anniversary of the last witchcraft trial in the United States, opened in Salem, Massachusetts in 1878. So they were still doing witch trials in 1878 in Massachusetts. And, and I say still doing them when we all know that we're only a few years away from them starting that up again. Oh, yes. Uh, six months, about six months after the end of World War One, okay, first major global conflict that involved just about everybody. It doesn't matter where in the world you were. There's probably some monument somewhere commemorating their local dead to World War One. In May 14th, in 1919, six months after, Sir Harry Hands, mayor of Cape Town, performed the first public observance of a two-minute silence in remembrance of those killed in the war. Uh, so that I mean, that was a very new concept, and I'm sure it probably had some problems passing, even though you wouldn't even consider that as being an issue now. On May 14th, 1951. Uh, so that's what, 70 years ago? 70 years ago today. Uh, modern day nerdism was born. And I say that because uh, a group of volunteers restored a, uh, a cargo, small cargo train that brought stuff up to the town they were living in in Wales, Tallinn Railroad, T-A-L-Y-L-L-Y-N. That's, that's a Welsh word. And the more L's in the word, the more you can tell that it's Welsh. Um, and, they, and they got it running. And it was, so it was the first 
railway in the world run by volunteers. So that that's modern nerdism because you you got you got to get to post war, uh, mass production, too much time on our hands. What do we do now? Uh, hey, you know I like trains. Let's do one on an industrial scale. Look at that old thing sitting in the corner. Let's restore that. That's you, that that's most of us would think that uh, restoration of old equipment was something that didn't really get going until like the seventies. Nope, 1951. Oh yeah, this is this is pretty good. There was a Habsburg fortress town called Marienburg. The fortress town was considered impenetrable when it was built, but it was taken by French troops only three three days into a siege. And and I wanted to share that because a French victory against Germans is not something you hear about anymore, is it? And I say that as a person who now has a copy of both Volume One and Volume Two of a World War Two book written by the Minister of War uh, at the start of the Second World War called, in French, France Saved Europe. That's irony. The first world problem meme apparently was created by a person named Sylvia Bottini. So if you uh, if you don't like first world problem memes, um, we now know who to blame. Dissatisfaction with government's pandemic response is growing. Study finds. Study. I mean, somebody paid money to find out people were dissatisfied with the government's response to the pandemic. We'll file that one under, duh. What kind of country is Israel becoming? It's becoming the same country it has been for the last 90 years. You know, that gas shortage in the U.S. is just like the toilet paper shortage last year. It's not that there isn't a shortage. It's just that if you go out and you buy everything you can get your hands on now, there won't be any immediately available. Moving on to entertainment, here's today's horoscope. Someone new could come into your life today. And with them will come a world of new possibilities. No, don't want that. If you've been in a bit of a rut ideas-wise, yeah, because, you know, I mean, it's not like it just started a blog a day or anything. Of late, this person will help take your thinking to a higher and more exciting level. No, no, I don't have the bandwidth for that. I just want to go on the record and say that the Eugene Levy, Catherine O'Hara series Schitt's Creek was crap. It was pandering, 1980s-style, must-watch ABC Friday television with a slight modern twist. That was it. It was crap. You, you could see the jokes coming eight miles away. It was crap. And I say that as a person who grew up loving Eugene Levy and Catherine O'Hara. I, I just, when you, when you tune into this stuff and you, you just see crap, and you know it was crap because they eventually brought Chris Elliott to it. And Chris Elliott is like a fly to comedy. Crap. Crap. And history will bear me out on this. This sitcom will not age well as people realize it was crap. Now, alternatively, Kim's Convenience was gold. This thing is awesome. Didn't watch many of them, but every one I watched was absolutely sharp. Shit's Creek. Come on, it's in the title. Uh, uh, uh. Speaking of shits Creek, I have to get my shits together. Even though I am likely the only one at work. So Trudy's now getting up to come over and take a look at the image because I have piqued her interest. Do you want to say hi to Barb now? Yeah. Hey. It's just like those Super 8 movies from the 50s when you turned the camera to the family and they just stood there like it was a still photo.
all of these lights, they shut off every 20 minutes. And the only way to keep them on is to get up and dance around the room every 20 minutes. I just can't stop what I'm doing for that. Now, what's interesting is that there is one other person who's in today. And, uh, and his lights are on in his office because he's moving around. No matter how quiet he is, I will know if he leaves that office because these lights will come on. Just the two of us. Do, 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 do. Just the two. Anyway, that's what that's what working in an office during COVID is like. And it's kind of creepy too because you hear noises, noises, and not just from yourself. Hmm. Oh, oh, man. I'm gonna go out into the heat and die. Oh, that was my hand. Okay, it's like, what's blocking the picture? I mean, it looks like a nice day. 20 when you're not used to 20 is ridiculous. I guess it goes both ways. I mean, if it, if it was like in the 30s for a month and a half, and then you suddenly ended up at 20, then that would be, be ridiculous. This is 20 when you're not used to 20 is ridiculous. It's been nice and cool. There is, in fact, a nice little wind right now. Which I'm sure you know because I don't have the windscreen on. There's my uh, my passenger for the week. Uh, don't have the cell phone mount on it because that's still in the apartment. So uh, I got to move this stuff in behind that back chair there. Master Packer, Master Packer, Master Packer, Master Pack. Oh, lots of room. Oh, we'll compress it a little bit. Uh, take that part in. You can't see any of this. Ah, I just, I just took this part down. There was that was extended, so that's not. But I'm not gonna unextend that. I'm just gonna shove that in. There, fits. Hey, right, see? Tripod. Pillow. Noisy seat. What? Ta-da! And now I drive home. That'll probably fall down as soon as I get moving because right now it's just sitting in the hollow of the, uh, the speedometer. But it's the only hands-free option I have here. Gorilla filmmaking. <laughs> See how fast it falls. Because I don't have to turn it off. Probably won't even make it out of the parking lot. Oh. Check that out. There we go. Ah! Help! Oh! Do I need Dorothy? Ah! Not useful. Bye! I have to wait until I stop at a light so that I can reach for this and shut it off. Stop it from recording if it is recording. I'm not sure if it's recording. Are you recording? I don't I don't know if you're recording. See? This is me without a put this is Sans Puppet. Sans Puppet. Just just talking Sans Puppet. I don't even know what this is gonna consider up. This is ridiculous. The guy, guy doing like 40 in a 60 zone. Like, come on! What the heck is wrong with you? Oh, I hate people. Well, it's going to be easy to edit because if you don't see the hand, then there's nothing worth keeping. <laughs> ah. Okay, we're about to turn, so you might go flying again. <laughs> this is hands-free operation, right? <laughs> Seems like it. This is this is probably the most ridiculous bit of video I've ever done in my entire life. But at least you're getting to see my mouth to hand coordination. I've stopped. So I'm gonna go in for a snack. It's grocery night. I'm not gonna be eating dinner until like seven. I love the trees. Thank 
you very much, sir. What are Jimmy the Squirrel's favorite mushrooms? Ock gee criminy! Pizza, Marconi pizza, Marconi yum yum pizza. What did we learn on the show tonight, Craig? <coughs> There's the kitty cat, the elusive kitty cat. And that's the vlog a day for May 14, 2021. Hope you had a great day wherever you are. See you tomorrow. Bye.